Are you going to be in attendance at tomorrow's meeting? And I'm not speaking specifically of you as a person. Uh, the NLC, on, on the back of COVID-19 protocols, has said that it's looking at two participants per association. I don't know whether you're going to present a national, you have your national leadership there, or whether each of you is going to present uh, representation. What's it going to be like tomorrow? Yes, we have received, we have taken note of the invitation. We are talking to our legal, our legal uh, uh, experts on that. We will respond appropriately, but I mean, even, even that in this age and time, I mean, we, we don't talk about because of COVID-19 issues. And people have vaccinated, so and people are holding events. So why limit attendance to only two? But but, but, as, but COVID, as, COVID is still with us. It's still the numbers we, are still very high. Don't you yes, think we, that's, we, that's, are, we are not disputing that? I'm, I'm a health I'm a health I'm a health person. We are not disputing that. But I mean, we, we are attending events in, in larger numbers than two. So, so what, what is it? What is so special about an NLC invitation? I mean, we, we, we can do we can do with more numbers than that. But I mean, as I said, we 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 will honor the invitation. I'm not too sure uh, whether uh, tomorrow or any other day because of the, the I mean the way we are scattered. But it's important for us to add that yes, we have received the invitation. Uh, we'll talk to our, our legal brains, and it is our hope that we'll honor the invitation. We are respectable that we are not ready to de defy, uh, de 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 I mean, defy any, 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 any uh, state institution. We, we will honor in due course, yes. So what do you anticipate? What would you like uh, to see tomorrow? What would you like to hear from the NLC as you get into this meeting tomorrow? What, what, what are some of the things you anticipate? Uh, honestly, we, we don't expect, I mean, the NLC has been at it. That is, how, that is the game they play. I mean, we don't expect any outcome than they saying that, uh, re, I mean, call off your strike and uh, go back to the negotiation table and all that. We don't, we don't expect anything different from that. But, but you see... That, 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 so so that, in, other words, that, that, in other words, just to clarify, you don't expect much from tomorrow's confab. You think it's just going to be another uh, pretentious uh, act from the NLC. That's what you're saying. I mean, I mean that, that, that is what we know, and I'm sure your guess is as good as mine. You, you wait till after the meeting, and you see exactly what the outcome will be, right? So uh, the point is that I have heard. I mean, yesterday in the evening, I, I listened to uh, the Phil Regis uh, uh, boss. I mean, talking about the point that the fact that um, review of the labor market survey and review of the energy market premium is a prerogative of the government and all that. Yes, nobody is disputing that. But if it's a prerogative of the government and there's, none, there's nothing to negotiate about, then what, what are you putting us to the table to go and do? Because we, we, we do not have any say. So if we do not have any say and we respect it and we accept, so you take your time and do whatever you want to do because you have the prerogative to do that. Allow us to also talk about the fact that our conditions are worsened and we need you to pay attention to it. So uh, for, for us, we, we, we expect that I mean, uh, I mean, and the employer and the authorities that be will sound a bit more reconciliatory and see how best we can dialogue. But if we want to go the hard line talk, we, we only, I mean, talk about entrenching positions and nothing, nothing good will come out of this engagement. So, so j just to wrap, in other words, and, and this is just to get some clarity, in other words, from where you sit, from what you know, from what you've seen, uh, tomorrow is not going to make any changes and the strike is going to continue. Well, we, we, I, I, I would want to leave that to, to the leadership, but I mean, I can, I can say without with any, any doubt that we're not, we're not expecting any, any uh, meaningful uh, outcome. I mean, and I use meaningful in, in quotes, not to disrespect anybody, but in terms of making a headway so far as this whole uh, impasse is concerned, we are not expecting because we know that NLC most likely will be at it again, just as they have started issue, issuing statements and finding faults with even the processes that we have. That is what they, the game they have always played. They usually wait and find fault with every labor union that goes on strike. NLC will find fault with them. Meanwhile, they do not police the documents that are agreed to ensure that there is peace, to ensure that the employer also meets its part of the bargain. No, it, it, it's about mind-boggling mind that NLC will always do that. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and click the bell icon and get notified every time we share something interesting. We would love to have you on there.